2023 has been an absolutely life-changing year for me. From meeting some of you in person for the first time in years, to meeting the first love of my life who has made me happier than ever. More on that later. On top of that, 2023 was a phenomenal year for gaming all around. Now this year's video is going to be slightly different to previous years. Normally I would have a super slickly edited video showing different clips and descriptions of all the different games that we played in the year. And whilst we're going for a similar vibe this year, we'll be more focused on a Watch Mojo's top 10 style of video, whilst also talking about events that happened over the year to make it one of the best ever. Why the new format? Well, a couple of reasons. One, we played a sh** ton of games this year. Too many to cover all of them in a single video effectively. Two, I'm not a big YouTuber who can afford his own team or even editor. I generally edit my own videos, including this one, and it takes a lot of time. Three, contrary to popular belief, I'm not actually a full-time YouTuber or Twitch streamer. I do have a full-time job and that further cuts into my free time for editing. Four, I manage two different YouTube channels, which, uh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my Gold Cow Gaming channel, please do. I've been working through posting all of the games we've previously played on Twitch to that channel so that they can actually be discovered. And going forward for really pretty games such as Spider-Man 2, I'm going to be recording locally and then uploading to YouTube directly in 4K, which means the video will look way better on YouTube than the live streams on Twitch. Finally, I'm already behind on multiple other editing projects. So, basically, in summary, Ain't nobody got time for that! And with all that said, let's get into the top 10 games of this year. In no particular order, kind of. Number 10, Jackbox Party Pack 10. Jackbox Party Pack 10 came out later in the year and was a huge amount of fun. Big shout out to Jackbox Games for providing a copy of the game, which we could all play together. This year, the games have led to a large amount of NSFW content and hilarious moments together. There are five games in this party pack, and each of them are different and unique, quirky, and always fun to play with friends, family, or any group of people. Number nine, Overwatch 2. This was easily my most played multiplayer game of the year, and I definitely have a bit of a toxic relationship with the game. I go on an emotional roller coaster when playing it from having the most amount of fun playing it with friends and pulling off wild plays to absolutely hating myself after gaming sessions till 5am in the morning. But with all that aside, Overwatch 2 is an immensely fun game that I know I can play to get an insane hit of dopamine from. Speaking of dopamine, our next game is High on Life, a hilarious game from the creator of Rick and Morty, Justin Roiland. Wait, is he cancelled? Wait, should I even be talking about this game? Am I going to get cancelled? Oh god! You play as this voiceless main character and carry around Morty. I, I mean, Kenny. Wait, oh my god, finally I'm free, thank god! It's what a nightmare! Morty! Listen, you... A living, talking gun. In fact, there's a whole species of guns called Gatlians which you collect, each more unhinged than the last. Ooh, so easy. All right, dip, let's go. Let's do it! Okay, let's do it! it. <laughs> let's do it! You become a bounty hunter intent on saving humanity from being used as drugs by aliens. Yeah, you ever try human? It's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty wild. 2023 was a huge year since it truly felt like we were finally free from COVID. COVID, whilst it mostly was a disaster, it did make me realize how little time we have on this planet and that we shouldn't take it for granted. So I decided pretty last minute that it was about time I had met some of the friends I had made through Twitch and had known for years. This mostly applied to my largest audience group outside of the UK, people from the US of A. And what better way to spend our time in America than to go to Disney World. So I flew out to Florida alongside the amazing Lucifer, who most of you already know and some of you will recognize from the TwitchCon Amsterdam vlog. Together we met up with Cash Maniac, Avery and Fangski all of whom I knew for around three or more years at this point. We spent a whole week at Disney going to all four of the major parks and had the most incredible time. Later on, we also met up with Cal. What's up, beautiful people? His wife, Vinny, and Crow. The full vlog is in the works, but if you would like to see the vlog and any upcoming vlogs earlier than the YouTube release with all uncut footage, like literally hours worth of footage, then please consider becoming a patron of my Patreon like the amazing Avery and Blue Cobra. In 2023, we also went to TwitchCon Paris, which was an amazing time since it was the first time I went to TwitchCon with more than two of us staying together, all from the 24 Cow community. I went with Blue Cobra, Chelsea, Melacris, and Jaffa. 
Unfortunately, this vlog is also in the backlog of videos I'm working through. And similarly to the Disney vlog, I'll be putting all of the uncut footage to Patreon before releasing an edited version to YouTube. Now let's resume our top 10. Number 7. Bramble the Mountain King Don't let its cute and pretty art style fool you. This game is nightmare fuel. This game is like Little Nightmares meets a bunch of different fairy tales smashed together. And when I say smashed together, I literally mean smashed. The amount of times we were sliced in half, crushed, or something was killed or crushed unexpectedly was unreal. It definitely added a huge amount of shock to the game, but also also made it extremely memorable. <laughs> this game was a lot of fun and I can't wait to see what is next for the series. Number six. Outer Wilds, Echoes of the Eye. We return to the mysterious and captivating world of Outer Wilds, which was one of my favorite games in 2019. We played the expansion, Echo of the Eyes, which continued this awesome streak by knocking it out of the park yet again with fantastic puzzle design and a story surrounded in mystery and awe. There's even some creepiness thrown in here and there as well. I, I, whatever. Okay, we're done. Number five, Inscription. A creepy but also mind-blowing card game that just keeps on giving with endless surprises, twists, and turns. We were hooked by the mysterious and creepy plot, and we were forced to use our wits and skills to escape the cavern and uncover the truth. I thoroughly enjoyed playing through this challenging and unique game. Number four, God of War Ragnarok. God of War Ragnarok was an epic conclusion to our Norse adventure with Kratos and Atreus. From the boss fights to the story and graphics, this game had loads to offer and was an amazing adventure. Now before we get into the top 3 games I played in 2023, I'd like to clear up a couple of things. First of all, what happened to our 2022 highlight video? Well, as some of you may remember, at the end of 2021, I promised to stream for 1000 days every single day in a row. which was the crazy challenge I set myself. And I'm proud to say that I did manage to stream over 200 days in a row, which was a huge achievement for me. But as you can imagine, streaming every single day for hours on end took its toll on me, both physically and mentally. And I started to feel burnt out from streaming and I realized that I needed a break. So in July 2022, I decided to end the streak and take a hiatus from streaming for a month. Afterwards, I came back on a more manageable schedule of three streams a week, before I knew it, 2022 had come and gone, and I was a bit overwhelmed to even bother creating a New Year's video. So to make up for it, here's a quick summary of what we enjoyed in 2022. Donut County, a game where the goal is to make your all-consuming hole as large as possible. The ultimate Animal Crossing Sims and Disney crossover game, Disney Dreamlight Valley. I baked my own birthday cake for my birthday. The terrifying it steals. Oh shoot! It's chasing so quickly. Oh my god, leave me alone! I hate this. The Walking Dead, which was extremely emotional, and I was lucky enough to be included on the front page of Twitch for Black History Month at the same time as this. A Plague Tale Requiem, an awesome sequel to the first game. Mortary Assistant. Shut the f up! I'm trying to work! Stop! Huh? <laughs> what? Death Store, Super Liminal, Power Wash Simulator, As Dusk Falls, which my cousin stars in. That is my freaking cousin, no. dude. The best cat game ever, Stray. <laughs> A nostalgic series close to my heart, Sly Cooper, the first and the second game. Horizon Forbidden West. <laughs> Demon Souls, Guardians of the Galaxy, Sifu, <laughs> Kina, Bridge of Spirits, a creepy Chinese horror game called Devotion. <laughs> we also played a bunch of co-op games, including the first Halo and A Way Out with Cash Maniac, As Dusk Falls with Nerdy Spaceman, Battle Block Theater with Lucy, 
and more. We also had our first ever 24 karat meetup, but I got to meet so many of you in real life. I would like to make this a more regular occurrence, maybe annual, but we do have TwitchCon for potential meetups as well. So let me know in the comments what you think about a 24 karat UK meetup, perhaps yearly, maybe in different parts of the UK and not just London. If you've made it this far into the video, then firstly, thank you. And secondly, please consider subscribing. Interesting fact, as of today, over the last 30 days, 98% of people who watch videos on my YouTube channel were not subscribed. So if you could subscribe, that would really mean the world to me. And if you could do the same for my Gold Cow Gaming channel as well for extra playthroughs, that would be incredible. Thank you for your time. Now, on to the top three. Number three, Spider-Man 2. The Spider-Man games are some of my all-time favorites, and Insomniac stepped up for the sequel, letting us play as both Spider-Man, letting both of them further evolve their powers, and giving us access to all 19 inches of Venom. What that tongue do? Oh my god. Adding a wingsuit to the mix made traversal around New York City even more fun. I had a great time playing this game and I can't wait to see what's in the future for this awesome series. Number two, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We put a ton of hours into Tears of the Kingdom and it's no wonder why. This game is literally three times bigger than Breath of the Wild and I put 52 hours into that game. The freedom, fun and joy I've had whilst playing this game has been immense and it's still ongoing even in 2024. Before we get to the number one game of the year for me, here's a quick homage to some other awesome games we played in 2023. Hi-Fi Rush, an awesome rhythm-based combat game. Lethal Company, a scary and hilarious multiplayer game. Hang on. Oh my god, what the f*** is that?! Assassin's Creed Mirage, Planet of Lana, and Immortality, a super unique game where we were even raided by the main actress herself, Manon. And our game of the year is... Thank you. Kingdom Hearts 3! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It, it says Kingdom Hearts 3 here. No, of course it's actually Baldur's Gate 3. Where do I even begin with Baldur's Gate 3? This game is quite possibly the greatest game of all time. Yes, I know, as if it didn't get enough praise and acclaim at the Game Awards already, but seriously, it deserved it. The amount of customization in this game is insane, from the different character customization, the different classes, to the path you choose to evolve your character within the different classes, who you choose as your companions, who you romance, who you murder, it's all there for the endless possibility takings. Plus, you can play this game online with your friends. Our Howard, Oblivionara, Mela and I have been doing a group playthrough and it's been chaotic, strategic, surprising and a huge amount of fun. Baldur's Gate 3 is insanely good and well deserving of Game of the Year 2023. So there we have it, the top 10 games of 2023. Looking forward to 2024, I plan on continuing to release more content out from the deep, dark, dead trenches of Twitch and getting it out onto YouTube. On top of this, I'll be continuing to post short form content to all of my socials. Speaking of, here's how the social stats be looking so far this year. So thank you to all of you who have liked, followed, subscribed, given me money, whatever you want to call it on any of the platforms. And if you haven't done it on every single one of these platforms, you're dead to me. Ha ha ha, only kidding. Or am I? This year, I'll also be experimenting with posting playthrough highlights to my main channel, since other than the regular short form content I post, my main YouTube channel has become deader than the Last of Us 2 ripoff multiplayer game. I'm also going to try releasing full playthroughs to the main channel as a single video, which will be hella long, but will hopefully prevent notification spam and reduce my anxiety each time I post a new video. Finally, possibly even the reason some of you clicked on this video in the first place, let me talk to you about my first and hopefully last boyfriend, Simon. Simon and I met on Hinge. Yes, you online daters, it can actually work. Just have patience and an open mind. We actually matched nearly two years ago. And I may or may not have accidentally ghosted him for a whole year before realizing I never actually messaged him back.
Yeah, I know, but we don't talk about that. Anyways, one day as I was scrolling through my WhatsApp conversations, I noticed I never messaged him and decided to respond. Luckily, he accepted my response. The conversation kept going and we ended up video calling for two hours, 15 minutes till 4 a.m. And shortly after, we went on our first date and the rest is history. Simon has not only helped change my perspective on several different subjects in life, but I genuinely believe he's helped me to be a better person. I mean, look at these plants. I used to hate any form of gardening. Now I love my little babies. I've been reading, well, mostly listening to books and podcasts and have generally become so much more enlightened about life in general. He forces me to go out and touch the grass and I think I kind of like it. Now I know some of you are thinking, chill the fuck out, Kyle. It's only been a year. But this is the first love of my life ever. The first person I've ever said I love you to outside of family and friends. The first person I've ever been on a romantic holiday with. To both France and Dubai, by the way. Plus, this ain't no typical straight relationship. Do you know how hard it is to find a gay relationship? I swear 9 out of 10 guys are on Grindr looking for hookups. Anyways, ranting aside and at risk of inflating his ego too much, I'll stop talking about Simon and wrap up the video. Thank you all for your support this year. 2023 was a fantastic year for experiences, love, self-development, and enjoyment especially enjoyment i mean i didn't even get to talk about all the beautiful women that sang to me this year like beyonce and scissor i'm incredibly lucky to have you as a part of this glorious pure gold family each and every one of you means the world to me and i'm so excited to see what 2024 has in the cards ahead this year will be an explosive year for more diversified content across all of my social platforms and i can't wait for you to see it Till the next video, which will hopefully be out before half a year, this is Gold Carrot signing out. Peace!